Here's the build for that voltage tripler circuit. An overhead view and here I have labeled the components. This is the wiring diagram of this circuit, tripler circuit. Let's take a look at the first positive phase from the secondary of that transformer. D1 will conduct charging C1 and it's going to charge it to the same amount as the output. The voltages are going to be higher with no load. You'll see that in the video coming up. But we end up with C1 charged 1 times V. Okay, now when the voltage of that secondary transformer reverses and we're at the negative part of the cycle, D2 is going to conduct charging C2, but we're going to end up with 2 times V, and that's because C1 is charged, and we're also getting voltage from the transformer. So it's going to be 2 times V. Now when we go back to the next positive cycle, D1 is going to conduct D3 is going to conduct, and D3 is going to allow C2 to charge C3 to 2 times V. So if we measure our voltage across C1 and C3 from end to end, this is where we get our 3 times V. Okay, let's measure some voltages. The voltages are going to read high because there's no load on this. Let's change this to AC here and measure the AC voltage that our little 12 volt transformer is putting out, about 16. Okay, back to DC. Let's read the voltage across. C1. Whoops. Well, darn it. Do it that way. About 22 and a half volts. Okay, now C2. 48.7. And C3 should be the same. Yep. Okay, now when I go across both C1 and C3, we get 3 times V. I tried putting LEDs in for the diodes to see if I couldn't capture the sequence. Well, my camera's not good enough, but you can clearly see that D1 does fire first and D2 and D3 follow. Thanks for watching.